All right, my fellow smoker. Hey, it's been about just over two hours on my uh, rib cook. Let's see where we're at. Uh, 250, no higher than 275. Smoke's been pretty good. Uh, so, I mean, sometimes if you don't want to don't want to have a lot of smoke, I leave my door cracked so that way I can get a little bit more air in there, especially if you're burning wood. Uh, it is still settling. Man, it's been staying right at 250. It's just uh, how much wood or material that you're putting in the back. But let's go ahead and check it out. We're going to do some temps, and then we're going to go in the back and check it. Okay. Oh, I'm, lo I'm loving the ribs. You know, usually I don't temp my ribs. I usually wrap the color, like this one right here. That's ready to be wrapped for me. Let's see where we at. Probably at 140. Okay, 150, 151. Okay, I'm just gonna go a little darker, a little tad darker. I'll probably be wrapping around 150, 50-ish. Beautiful. Baby back ribs. That one needs a little bit longer to go. Let's just go ahead and check the temperature while we're over here. Checking. Oh, I love that right there. That was tender. 138. Fatty part. Let's see. 136. Okay. We're going to spray it down in just a minute. We're going to back and check it out. Ribs, regular racks. So that's still got a, quite a ways to go. Rib tips on top. The other rack of ribs, let's just see which one's at. So they all pretty much around 135, except for that one that was that was kind of kind of dark. It was at 150. Let's check this one. Okay, 135, 136. This is the one that went around 150. Cool. Alright, it's so gonna spray it. I'm just using water. Usually I don't spray anything. But since I got it open. I'm gonna go ahead and spray it down. Just water. Maybe all that good salt, pepper. And when it's time to wrap, I don't use butter, sugar. Man, I just use straight smoke. I wrap, um, wrap them up, put a little bit of water in there, and that's it. Somebody saying, man, why aren't you why aren't you tasting the piece that's hanging out? Well, I'm getting ready to taste me a piece that's hanging out. Right there. Right there. Oh. Wow. That's good. Mm, 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 mm. That's that's true. I like that. Oh, that's good. No salsa anything i don't like to sauce my ribs but if they want sauce i got a good sauce that i make carolina style you can put it on yourself but other than that i don't put no sauce in my ribs because i wanted people to taste the meat all right let's go back and check out check out the back let's leave this correct let's go check out the back so man i only use one split uh, of post oak and I just went a little less I started putting in cherry wood cherry chunks so look at that that split that that uh, post oak has been burning for about two hours two hours so I've been adding just some cherry wood chunks I didn't want to overpower the, uh, my ribs since it's such a small cut so I went with some sweet wood some cherry wood so I already put one two so this will be my fifth piece of chunk uh oh, get over there. I tell you what, that cherry wood, it smells really sweet. I'm gonna add one more piece and I will not add any more wood. This right here is gonna finish my cook off. So, just over two hours, that split has been burning. Uh, I think I probably around an hour and 45 minutes, 50 minutes, I started adding some uh, cherry wood, okay? But man, that's pretty good though. Two hours, I'm at 135, 150. Uh, so I'm gonna be wrapping two color. Like this one again. I'm getting ready to wrap that one up. 
because that was sitting at 150. I don't want to go too much darker, especially with baby back ribs, you know, with that loin on top. You don't want to go too far without wrapping because you can, uh, you can, you can uh, dry those uh, baby back ribs out. So that's why I like to catch it around 150 ish and then um, wrap it up, put some water in there, get it nice and tender, and keep all that juice in there. Man, that cherry wood, oh my goodness. That cherry wood smells really sweet. So post oak and cherry wood, that's a good combination. That's a good combination. Let's let that burn clean. I'll come back in probably about another 30 minutes and wrap that one rib up and check the other ones. Blessings to you, and we'll talk to you later.